Natal Video Productions PTY Limited welcomes you to the first program in a series of six which are going to introduce you to the term we refer to as basic engineering skills. This is the introductory program in which we're going to show you and tell you some important things about training in an engineering field. The word engineering covers many things, all to do with building things, making things and maintaining things in a world that is full of man-made objects. Somewhere in between these levels is a person called an artisan. He's the chap in overalls who finds himself getting involved in many interesting jobs. An artisan is a highly skilled person, especially when it comes to working with his or her hands. The kind of person who will end up being an artisan or an engineer is one who, at a young age, shows interest in mechanical things. There are many young people today who have the correct aptitude, that is, the ability, to become artisans and engineers. Any person who is able to use his or her hands skillfully should never be unable to earn a decent living. Something that is common to all artisans and most engineers is that they have all learned certain engineering skills. The simple task of bending wire using a pair of pliers is a kind of engineering skill. As is the use of a measuring instrument or a hammer and thereafter using complicated precision machinery. As an engineering trainee, you will, over the next few months and years, learn more and more skills until you eventually become what is called competent in your chosen trade. At this time, you can proudly call yourself a tradesman or an artisan. Safety plays a major part in any engineering function and companies strive to make your work situation as safe as possible. Whenever you walk around a plant or factory, you'll see many signs like this, and this, and many others. These are known as safety signs and their purpose is to warn you that certain protective equipment or clothing must be used in that area. Most factories, buildings or construction sites and many workshops insist that anyone in that area must be wearing a hard hat to protect one's head and a pair of reinforced shoes or boots to protect one's feet from possible injury. Many tools and other equipment can cause eye injuries. It is a rule that goggles must be worn whenever you work on equipment that throws sparks, dust or grit. Many machines on plants can be very dangerous and only highly trained artisans and engineers would be permitted to work on them. During your training period, you must always get permission from a supervisor or safety officer if you have to work on or near moving equipment. You may find yourself having to maintain or repair equipment that handles dangerous products such as chemicals. Here again you'll need special permission and training before you'll be permitted to do such work. But safety really is just plain common sense and your ability to learn the basic rules. In engineering, there is a lot of equipment that must be looked after and maintained. In your toolbox, there are lots of valuable tools that also need care and maintenance. You have to buy many of these tools with your own money, so it makes sense to look after them. Tools easily become rusty, so wherever practically possible, keep them clean and dry. Many tools can be stored on a tool board. A tool board makes it easy to see just where your tools are 
and what's missing. Certain tools, such as marking off instruments, have sharp points. These tools should be handled carefully to prevent injury. Sharp tools should be kept separately in a drawer or hanging on a rack or tool board when they're not in use. During your basic training, you'll be spending a lot of time working on a workbench. The bench normally would have an engineer's vice bolted firmly onto it. Keep your workbench tidy and keep your vice as clean as possible. Always clean up after you have completed your work. In the following programs, you will learn some important basic skills which will help you to lay a solid foundation for more advanced training. We wish you every success in your training and we trust that Tech AV programs will surely form part of your chance to advance.